Yes, hello, Annette. Uh, this is Tony here. I just thought I'd make a short video for you. Uh, you've been discussing the possibility of my working one-on-one -on -one with the top executives of Centenary Bank. Now, as you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one leadership development is something that I was actually the pioneer of in the 1990s. It's a very specialized field that is far more than just executive coaching. It's about really working with the top people. This is a one and a half trillion shilling bank. You want to have someone who knows banking. You want to have someone that can work with the very senior executives, not just as a person that talks about teamwork and motivation and positive attitudes, but as someone who has actually been the managing director of a major organization uh, of the size of Centenary Bank and even larger. You want someone who has the capacity to really work with top level people and create the shifts in their thinking, their attitude and their approach that will help them to be significantly more successful, both as individuals and then for the bank. Now, as you, of course, are extremely well aware, Global Trust has recently been shut down. One of the things that I would like to actually take the opportunity to do is to run a short session for your top team, looking at the reasons why it was shut down. Now, we'd be covering a range of different things here. One of the things that we would be looking at would be the financials. Uh, so, for example, when you actually look at uh, Global Trust uh, and you look at the different aspects to it. So what I've done, for example, I've taken the finances and I've uh, put it in a spreadsheet and I've done a lot of uh, playing around with it. So for example, here I've uh, sorted the different banks in Uganda according to uh, the degree to which their non-performing loans, uh, to what percentage it is of overall loans. Uh, so you'll see Global Trust Bank actually had the highest percentage of non-performing loans out of their uh, loan book. Uh, Barclays actually, uh, surprisingly, is also quite high at 21%, but that's still half of what Global Trust was. And when you look at a range of other measures, for example, uh, their provision for bad debt, they really had not written off enough. Uh, and that was uh, one of the issues that uh, the central bank had been talking with them about. Now, their total income of 17 billion was substantially less than the 28 billion in expenses. And those expenses was, again, it was the, uh, the worst out of all of the banks when you look at the ratio. So expenses as a percentage of deposits, it was actually 41% of the amount of deposits equaled the amount of expenses. That's incredibly high. Uh, the income to expense ratio was 61.9%, which means that uh, rather than income exceeding expenses, uh, the income only formed 62% of their expenses. And there's a range of other things that I'd be discussing in terms of the actual financials. Actually, just as a, an example uh, in comparison, if we have a look at, let's say, Centenary Bank, Centenary Bank is 2.8% uh, in terms of the non-performing loans. All of these figures are from last year, 2013. Uh, so substantially better than Global Trust. But the thing is that when it comes to corporate performance, it is not just a matter of the finances. The question is, what is the thinking that leads to these results. What is it about Global Trust's management, the interpersonal dynamics, the issues between uh, the top people there that created the problems that had the Bank of Uganda shut them down? And I want to talk a little bit about those personal issues, the interpersonal elements, as well as the finances. The other thing that I'd like to do with you, which I think would be of immense value, and I'm actually prepared to do this uh, for free, uh, to do a two-hour session if you'd like, or 90 minutes if you prefer. It can be done at a lunchtime, extended lunchtime, or at the end of the day, whatever works with you. But uh, I, I'm actually prepared just as something to introduce myself, to do a two-hour session discussing not only the financial aspects to do with Global Trust Bank, but to do with 
these interpersonal dynamics. And one of the things that I'll do within that training is to actually uh, have people divide themselves up according to personalities, according to the way they see the world and how they interact with other people. It's an immensely powerful uh, process. In fact, uh, behind uh, you in the uh, screensaver, you can actually see the uh, at that point, he was the rebel leader in Congo. And I did a process with him and the top people to actually have a look at uh, some of the interpersonal aspects and divided them up in the same way. They gave up fighting. They formed a government of national unity and actually uh, did a lot that helped to uh, overcome the violence in Congo. So I'd be doing this process with you uh, as a sample. And... It's a tremendously powerful process. Even 10 years later, you will be talking about it. You will remember it. And uh, people will be using it as a way of understanding the people who work for them so that they relate significantly better, so that there's a lot less conflict, a lot less problems, that communication is far better, motivation is far better. And it also is very helpful in understanding ourselves and therefore managing ourselves. So look forward to doing that and look forward to actually having the chance to work with the top team of Centenary. It is an amazing bank with an amazing culture and unlike the vast majority of corporations in Uganda, it really has a deeper pur purpose. Now, I have given up the work that would have earned me uh, well over a million dollars a year in Australia in order to come to Uganda to actually help out. And so... It is something that I very firmly believe in. Whether I was working as the head of Australia's largest uh, Catholic organization, other than the church, which was the St. Vincent de Paul Society, uh, whether it is coming out here and earning substantially less money, but being able to do something very powerful that has actually made a massive difference to the country. I look forward to being able to continue that with Centenary Bank. Okay, all the best. Bye.